This is kind of an unusual one. A friend brought in this uh, Made in Mexico Tele. When it came in, it had three strings. He'd been using it as basically a giant dulcimer, electric dulcimer. But he wanted me to put it back to be a, a regular Tele. So, you know, the input jack was falling out and the pots were filthy and broken solder joints and the bridge was all messed up from all kinds of weird angles to get three strings on here. And uh, he wanted it set up with 12s in standard uh, with a wound G. So that's what we've got here, which is not something that I have played before on a Telecaster. I've done that on jazz boxes, which is a very different kind of thing. Um, I've got it so it's more or less intonated, you know, with the non-compensated saddles you get to where it's musically useful. And it's got the stock pickups, neither which is great, but you know makes makes sound. And uh, the guitar is overall sounding pretty good now. I'm going through this little sixty six slug. Uh, I can't talk. This little 66 Fiberlux Reverb, where I'm chasing down that chassis buzz. I've got it reduced. I think I know what I need to do to eliminate it next, but just getting this thing so it feels good up and down the neck. Now I've got a high fret somewhere here on the upper reaches. It mostly affects the A string. So it's either the uh, 15th or 14th fret there is high. Maybe it's the 16th, it's a little bit high. The others are pretty good and I just don't think he's going to be playing up here at the dusty end on the bass strings very often. But it's, it's funny, uh, as a player, you don't think about, you know, the autopilot habits that you have until they don't work, you know, and bending. And I've got pretty strong hands, but in standard, the 12, it, it takes a lot out and to bend on that G string. It takes a lot to get a half step. Let's see if I can get a whole step here. That takes a lot. You know, I've, back in the day when I wanted to be Stevie Ray Vaughan, you know, I had uh, 12s and 13s on my Strat, but with a wound, uh, sorry, a plain G, I was an E flat with great big frets. Wound G, Standard tuning, tiny frets, that, that whole step bend just about killed me there. Um, the only real oddity besides the fact this is... Uh, set up to punish my own habits of, of, of bending and, and kind of slinking around is uh, that because of the way the pickup was designed for uh, a plain G to be very, to not jump out at you, this wound G kind of hides. Um, but you know, it's not worth changing the pickups in a Made in Mexico Tele just for that. Besides, most of the pickups on the market for Telecasters are designed to work with a a plain G. So, you know, the kind of thing you just pick up if you play this guitar a lot, you'll subconsciously just kind of dig into that G string harder. But, you know, I'm pretty impressed with this guitar, you know, um, as you know, it's funny, I see people paying tons of money for late 80s and early 90s 
uh, made in Japan and crafted in Japan, tellies and strats, like 1200 bucks and up. And you know, to me, those are still $350 guitars. I'm not going to do the depressing, the, the depressing uh, reality of what inflation is. And that maybe my 1992 350 is about 1200, but, um, I have, I had owned a lot of those made in Mexico, I'm sorry, made in Japan and crafted in Japan reissues. And they had really thick poly finishes and they had multi-piece multi bodies where you could really see uh, how many pieces were made of. And then you get a ding and just have a great big chip. It's like dropping a cheap coffee table. This thing here, uh, in every way, is at least as good as uh, those really sought after MIJ CIJs and uh, in, in many ways in my opinion this is a better guitar the, the finish is much prettier the neck feels more like a real uh, 60s telly not like a 50s telly well it's just a good size neck I guess I'm jaundiced by the big necks I have you know it's not out of out of place for some some of the 50s necks um, you know get this guitar some different pickups uh, I think you're good to go uh, this is a nice guitar. I'm not nuts about the frets being level, uh, you know, right up here, but that's only up here at this one little area, and that's an easy thing for a tech to fix. The rest of the guitar plays really well. If they had this with uh, some uh, medium frets, I think they, they'd really have something, but uh, I'd be very tempted to get one of these if I, if I found one at a good price. This is uh, certainly, certainly a very good guitar. Not a great guitar, you know, but a very good guitar that could easily be used professionally night after night after night. And this particular one... <laughs> once the neck settles in, uh, will be very, very stable as far as its tuning. Uh, these heavy strings are not going to want to go out at all. So uh, keep an eye on the neck for a day or so. Uh, make sure it maintains the relief that I set with this heavy gauge strings. It's always fun. <laughs>